The easiest way to invite someone to join a group in Signal is if the person you are inviting is already on Signal and in your contacts. In this situation, it's simply a matter of clicking on the group name at the top of your group chat session, clicking on add new member, and a list of your contacts will be displayed. Clicking on the person's name will add them to your group. If the person you wish to add is not in your contacts, but you know their phone number, you can click on find by phone number to see if the person has a Signal account. Enter their number and if they are on Signal, their name will appear and you can simply select them and click update. If the person you wish to add is not on Signal, but you have them as a contact, you can invite them to download the app and create an account. You do this by clicking on the new message icon in the top right corner of the main screen and choosing invite to signal. Select the person from your phone contacts list and they will receive an SMS with a link that will direct them to the signal app page on their app store. Finally, you can also send out an invite to join a group by providing a URL. Back in your group settings, click on group link. Enabling group link creates a unique URL that you can send to people to join your group. If you also enable approve new members, this adds an extra level of security by requiring you to approve new members as they join your group. Having created the link, click on share. You have a few ways you can share the URL, but in this example, I'm gonna send mine out via email. So I'll click on share again and choose Gmail. As an aside, I tried sending the link as an SMS, but when the recipient clicked on the link, it would throw up an error stating that the link was invalid. I'm not sure why this is. I tried several times to get it working, but it just didn't seem to want to work. However, it does seem to work fine using email. Compose your email and send it out to everyone you wish to invite to your group. Clicking on the link you sent them will open their Signal app and prompt them to join the group. Once they click on join, if you enable the extra security option to approve new members, you'll receive a notification informing you of pending invites. It's then a simple matter of clicking on the tick to approve your new members. And that is how to invite someone to join a Signal group. If you'd like to know how to remove someone from a Signal group, then this is how you do it. So here I am in my group chat session, and since I created the group, I am also the administrator. So if I want to remove Wilson, I simply need to click on the group name at the top of the window, scroll down to the list of members, click on Wilson's name, and choose remove from group. If Robinson, who is also part of the group, tries to remove Wilson, you can see he doesn't have the option because Robinson is not an admin. When I remove Wilson from the group, you can see that everyone is notified in the chat session, including the person who has been removed. Wilson will still be able to see the chat history, but he cannot send or receive any new updates. So when Robinson sends out a message, you can see that Wilson is none the wiser. And so that is adding and removing people from a group in Signal. Before you go, if you are considering starting your own YouTube channel or you'd like to see how I create my videos, I have a free course on my website, which I'll link to below. No gimmicks, it is completely free. So I recommend having a look at that. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick tips like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.